Hi, my name is Soleil Weed. I am in grade 11 and I am taking Sports Med 3 with teacher Isaiah Tanasi. My second project is on motion analysis and my client's softball swing. You may ask, what is motion analysis? Motion analysis is a measuring technique, image processing, and a high-speed photography application to detect movement. Many people in the sports med industry use motion analysis to detect problems or improve athletes' technique in different exercises or specific movements in sports. My client is Sophie Langenfield. Sophie lived in Sonora, California for most of her life. She just moved to South Lake Tahoe in January. Sophie is a senior this year and uh, goes to the South Lake Tahoe High School and is a varsity softball player. Sophie has played softball for eight years and has trained in cheerleading and horseback riding as well. I wanted to use Sophie as my athlete in this project because when Sophie swings, she gets very sore in her legs and core, and she hasn't practiced hitting since our season in 2020 that got cut short due to COVID-19. So here's what I did over the course of two weeks. First, my client and I went over everything. We went over her schedule. She's a very busy lady. She works, she travels, and her mom still lives in Sonora, so she's non-stop driving and what she'd be able to manage in these two weeks. Next I made a program with one day being core strength and one day being thighs and leg strength. Next my client and I got together and did her pre-videos. Then she implied the workouts into her daily routine. Next we filmed the post videos and examined her progression and how much she absorbed the techniques. For this program, I researched what the quote-unquote perfect swing is in softball. Throughout my research, I learned that everyone has a different technique for good hitting. It all depends on your strength, body type, and how fast or where the pitch is coming from. I found a good swing that Sophie can improve her batting distance, and these are the steps I found. First, you have to have a good stance, knees bent, all calm head centered, elbows up, and if you're a righty on batting, then your right elbow should be up in the air. Step into the hit with your front foot and finish your swing all the way through. And there's some more techniques. My client Sophie Langenfield's goal was to increase strength in her core and legs to benefit her hitting skills. And another goal of hers was to get good footwork and hitting techniques for the upcoming season. My client and I got together and did pre-testing. We tested her techniques and hitting and how far she can hit a softball. With her current techniques for pre-testing, my client hit an average of 70 feet out. And some notes I noted was that her stance was very weak. She was just standing there, not in a full softball stance. She dropped the bat tip when she was swinging, and next, she didn't finish all the way through. Also, her toe was up, and her foot wasn't fully on the ground when finished with the swing. I created a program that consists of two days, and the first day was the core. My client, Sophie, worked on weighted Russian twist planks on either side and of her body and forward both arm elbow planks, lemon squeezers, and butterflies. The next workout day was for legs. She worked on weighted squats, lunge jumps, and pillay squat calf raises and side ups. On Friday of the last week of the program, my client and I got together once again and did post testing and we discussed on how much she improved throughout the two weeks. So none of my slow-mo videos or my pictures are downloading onto my slides. So these are examples of the techniques you can be implying when hitting a softball. Sophie had gained 10 feet more with her average and has a total of 80 feet when hitting. 
And some notes that I caught from her post-testing was that her feet were in position, she had a better stance, her knees were bent, head centered, and she finished all the way through, and with her whole front foot on the ground and twisted towards the field. At the end of the whole project, I asked my athlete, how did you feel about this program? Sophie states, I feel this program you put together is very impressive just because you're so young and I feel that when I think of a program of sports med, I think of older people and since you're 16 and creating something like this is crazy. I like how you set up a quick workout routine that fits into my schedule since I am so busy. And how I would like to implement this project in the future is when softball season comes around, I would like to present this to my coach and see what he thinks of it. And maybe we can implement this program in, for benefiting the techniques for hitting. Thank you for watching my presentation.